okay guys so in this video we are going to do one of the question paper uh, that uh, they have a question that is related to a company so in this question paper they give us accounting equation so we are going to treat that so that you will understand how are you going to attempt your accounting equation if you are given the transaction that is related to a company so let's check the question paper that we have so before we go to our accounting equation guys we have some basic uh, question uh, that is related to audit report as well as company choose the correct word from those in brackets write only the words to the question number okay 1.1.1 uh, they said the concept of limited unlimited uh, that's the option that we have liability ensure that the shareholders are not responsible for the debt of the business in the event of bank rupt. So we have to choose uh, the correct answer. So the first one is uh, is that the concept of limited liability ensure that the shareholders are not responsible for debt. Yes, this is the correct answer because uh, when we talk about a company, uh, we talk about a limited liability. Okay, let me write it correct. Limited liability. Okay, number two. When the preparing when preparing financial statement, creditors will be reflected as trade and other receivable, payable and equity. So in this case, we have three options and we need to pick one. So when the preparing financial statement, creditors, of course, when we talk about creditors, we are referring to payables. So the answer will be payable. Payables. Then the following one. The separate disclosing in significant items such as interest expense is an application of the prudence and materiality. So in this case, we are talking about the gap principle. So the correct answer in this case uh, is materiality. When we prepare income statement, we have to do them separate. Materiality is the answer for this one. Okay, then 1.2. Then we have a required. Analyze the transaction below according to headings of the table provided in the answer book. Okay, then they give us the answer book which is similar with this one that we are going to use. Okay, then they also give us an example. They bought a stationary on credit 3200. They debited a stationary and credit creditors control. Then after that, they indicated the amount and they show the sign under owner's equity because stationary is fall under owner's equity and the plus of creditors control because it's fall under liability. Okay, 1.2.1. That's the main question of this uh, question paper. So 1.1, they say electronic fund transfer uh, EFT totaling amount of 136,000 were made to a shareholders being amount owned to them at the end of the previous financial year. Remember when we declare a shareholders for dividends, a final dividends last year, we didn't pay these shareholders because final dividends are meant to be paid on the following year. So in this case, they said, the dividends that was declared last year, they are now paid. In this case, which means that the first one, we can identify a bank. Bank is full under what? Assets. And when we talk about assets, it's increase on the debit and decrease on the credit. Simple means that in this case, because we paid, our money goes out, which means that the bank will come to the credit side. Then this side, we're going to have shareholders. For dividends. Okay. Then the amount is 136,000. Okay. So remember, shareholders for dividends is liability. When we talk about liability, of course, because they are, they, the shareholders have been paid, which means that liability has decreased. That's why we debit, which means that it's a minus here and minus here. 
here is not affected. Number two, they said the company received 450 for issue of new share, which means that in this case we received cash. The bank has increased. Okay, we received cash for ordinary share. Ordinary share capital. Okay, then the amount is 450,000. Okay, the bank is affected by a plus and the owner's equity of shareholder is affected by plus. The inside is unchanged. Okay, then the next one, the income tax assessment for the year was received and income tax was calculated as 338,000 exceeded the provisional tax payment made. Okay, which means that in this case, we are going to recognize expense of income tax expense. Income tax expense. Okay, which means that in other words, it's a minus here. And we also recognize SARS income tax. In other words, they calculated that we owe SARS amount of 300 and 38,000 which means that liability will go up in this case so this is how we should do the transaction that is related to a company so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and also go to grade 12 playlist and watch other videos